Hey, John Cristani here, former ad agency owner and internet marketer. And I'm gonna be showing you how to start a marketing business. I'm gonna be going over a number of different things such as what service to offer folks, what to charge, and also how to find clients. Now I've done this before, this is how I made my first million dollars and I'm excited to share this information with you and hopefully help change your life for the better. Let's get it. There we go, I'm shooting you with money class because in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to start a marketing business that makes money and I'm gonna go over everything. I'm gonna help you figure out what service to offer, what to charge and where and how exactly to find clients. So let's get it. Now first off, to start a marketing business, you have to figure out what service to offer. So there's a number of different services you can offer. I run a marketing business and the service I offer is customers. I have made arrangements with companies where I will give them customers and for each customer, they give me either a percentage or they give me a flat rate based on the customer. Now, but there are a lot of things you can offer people. You can offer people SEO services. You can offer companies followers on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube. You could offer people posting services. You could offer to post ads for people or to put social posts on their Instagram, Twitter, whatever. You can offer to send a company leads. Maybe you have a friend who is a realtor. I think everybody has a friend who's a realtor and they need people who are interested in selling their house. You could say, hey, I'll send you people who are interested in selling their house if you give me 50 bucks. So you could offer a service like that. You can also do ad management. This is where I started when I started my marketing agency. You know, I'd have clients pay me money, so I'd manage their ads for them. Somebody who can manage ads is about $3,000 a month, $4,000 a month. I only charged $500. So you can also offer podcast connects. There's a lot of business owners such as myself who want to be on more podcasts. Sort of my image control thing. I like doing interviews. I actually think interviews are the most powerful form of learning. I'm, I'm going to have my editors link to a playlist somewhere up here, but I have my own playlist. I just use it myself at home called eight, nine and 10 figure interviews. And what I do every single night before I go to sleep is I listen to interviews and these people influence me and a lot of people listen to podcasts. So if you connect people with other podcasters, I was paying an agency, you know, about $3,000 a month to connect me to be interviewed. You can also offer people site design services. I used to offer that for $5,000. You can offer people video editing services. I work with a company that does video editing for me for all of these videos. They charge me $5,000 a month. So that's a good service if you connect with the right people. And you can also offer people customers as I do. I work with companies and I do arrangements. Usually I say, I'm gonna send you people interested in buying your product or service. You give me 50% of whatever they buy. And that's what makes me about $500,000 a month. So that's my business. That's my main business. YouTube is just, I do it for fun. In terms of what service you offer, you really wanna get specific. And here's some advice, niche down. What do I mean by niche down? This is a very powerful powerful thing to understand is if you are going to be offering, let's say, Instagram posting services, that is not very interesting. But when you layer that on and you say, I'm going to manage Instagrams, create posts and do posting for lawyers, now you start getting interesting. Now you're more targeted. A lawyer is going to be much more interested in a company that specializes in Instagram for lawyers than just a company that specializes in Instagram in general. Why? Well, the reason is, and let me speak to the women for a second. If you go to Macy's or Nordstrom, one of those small stores, and there's that whole skincare section, do you want a skincare that's good for all skin? No. You need skincare, you need makeup that works with your tone, that works with your type of skin. Maybe it's a condition, maybe you get sunspots, maybe you have turkey neck, whatever it is. You want to work with skin cream or makeup or whatever it is that is specific for your particular special use case. And that's how all business owners are. All businesses are different. I only work with agencies. I work with about 10 different agencies. That's why I have no employees. I have 10 different agencies. I work with agencies that specialize in my niche, which is business opportunity. That's what I do. That's how I do it. And the more you specialize, the more powerful you'll become. Now there is a level of niching down too much. If you focus on Instagram posting for personal injury lawyers in Tampa, Florida, that basically limits your market to five people. It's just a little too specific. But Instagram posting for lawyers, getting podcast connects, 
for lawyers or for dentists or for doctors would be a great business. Doing website design for dentists. I have a friend who runs a business that does website design for dentists and they do about $30 million a year. You'd think that creating a smaller niche would create less business, but in fact, it creates more. I also have a friend who does website design and he makes uh, two to three thousand dollars a month because he's just, he'll take anybody, right? So you can see all ends of the spectrum, but get niche down, whatever you're gonna offer. If you're gonna offer leads, offer leads for realtors in Tampa. That might be a good market because there's gonna be thousands of realtors in Tampa. And the next piece of advice that I'll give you is understand the difference, and this goes into pricing. There's three forms of running a marketing business. You could be focused on doing tasks, such as Instagram posting. You could be focused on being creative, creative aspects, or you could deliver results. And each step of the way, there's more and more money. The more you can move down the line to offering results, the more money you'll make. Now let's back up to my example of doing Instagram posting for lawyers. Now, if you started a business that does Instagram posting for lawyers, but you required the lawyers to supply you with the posts and the text and the tags and the, the images and the videos, the lawyers are not gonna pay very much for that. They might pay you $50 a week, $100 a week. They're not gonna pay you very much money just to simply go on their Instagram and post stuff that they already wrote out. It just gets you very little money. Whereas if you were gonna do Instagram posting for lawyers, and you would actually going to figure out the images. You're gonna take the photos, maybe even. You're gonna write the text. You're gonna figure out the tags. Then you would get paid more money because you're figuring more stuff out. You're using your mind, you're using your brain to actually make things happen. Maybe you could charge $1,000 a month, right? This is $200 a month. This is 1,000. Whereas if you move down the line for results, if you ran a service where you said, I I'm gonna build your law practice's Instagram by 10,000 followers a month. And on top of that, I'm going to make sure that you get at least 50,000 views every month on Instagram for your law practice from people in your specific area. That would be what we call more results-based. We're talking about results in terms of, you know, views, and whatever. That makes more money. You could probably charge maybe $2,000 a month for something like that. You could even go a step further. Results, you could say, I will guarantee you will get 10 interested customers, 10 prospects a month from my marketing efforts. Well, some law firms will pay $500 for a prospect, for somebody just interested in doing a case. They figure if they can get one case, they make $50,000 or $25,000. So it makes sense. If you could go results like that, where you're sending a company customers or a law firm customers, they might be able to pay $5,000 a month. So that's how you price things. It depends on how much work you're doing. And ultimately, it all depends on how much sales swag you got. Are you good at pitching clients? Are you good at talking? Are you good at messaging? Now, the further down the rung you go, it also gets easier to sell. So maybe if you're a really good salesperson, you know, you could sell just managing a law firm's Instagram account. You could sell it instead of $1,000 a month, you could sell your services for $5,000 thousand dollars a month if you had a really good pitch and you met them in person and you you did stuff like that whereas if you're getting people results if you're telling a law firm, you say, hey, I'll get you results, just pay me $500 each time an interested person comes through. I'd pay me $2,000 each time you land a case from one of my leads. That's a much easier proposition because they're only paying you for results. Now, I've never been really good at sales, so I always opted for the results-based approach. It's a very easy relationship. I say, don't pay me unless I get you results. Which brings me to how to get leads. How do you get customers? Now, getting customers, you can do it a few different ways. If you aren't charging much, for your services or if you're fine just taking random customers. I used to use Upwork to find clients for my ad management. I'd manage people's Google ads and I'd say I manage people's Google ads. Upwork, generally speaking, you're gonna get lower costs because you have about 50 or 500 people bidding on every job. Whereas you can make a little bit more money or you can demand higher prices if you do more targeted prospecting. So in the example I gave of lawyers, right? Instagram for lawyers. If you messaged 
lawyers or law firms that had an Instagram account, but it was not very active, that would be good targeted prospecting. You're going after lawyers who have Instagram account. Not all lawyers have Instagram accounts. So that's called targeted prospecting. And maybe you send them a direct message. So you find lawyers who have Instagram accounts, you send them a direct message. That's targeted prospecting right there. And by the way, going with this example, what I would do, just, just kind of a mind bubble here, is I would say something along the lines of, hey, you know, Mr. Lawyer, I noticed you have an Instagram account, but it's not very active. I said, I actually manage Instagram accounts for lawyers. Would you be interested in uh, chatting sometime? Just, you know, is this a service you'd be interested in? That's what I'd say. See if they respond. You can probably find 10,000 lawyers pretty quickly that have Instagram accounts. Just send them a direct message. Copy, paste, copy, paste. That'd be a really good way to build an ad agency. Somebody take me up on that idea. Write in the comments, who's taking me up on that idea? So type in I am if you are, because I'd love to see somebody start getting clients for <laughs> Instagram posting for lawyers. That'd be really cool. Now, the third way, which is the way to make the most money, is actually in-person networking or speaking. You can speak at conferences. If you can do in-person networking, that's great. Now, I had a friend who recently sold his company. We actually co-founded an ad agency together, and then we later kind of split up. I was managing the ads, he was getting the clients, and he got together with another partner and they grew the ad agency, and they ended up selling it to a Japanese conglomerate for almost $100 million. And the way they got clients was, he was a member of a particular religion, he would go to those meetings or whatever, and he'd get clients, he was Jewish, so he'd get clients from like the Jewish League of Los Angeles. He also went to, I don't know, it was like University of Florida. So he'd go to the alumni meetups. He'd get meet clients. And he went to local events involving startups around town. And simply, he would offer Facebook ad management services to those companies. And he'd chat with them. And a lot of companies want their Facebook ads managed. So that's how to tens of millions of dollars a year and beyond. And the last pro tips I'll leave you with is this. Optimize, always optimize. Constantly measure everything you're doing and constantly refine everything you're doing. If Peter Drucker has a famous quote, you can only manage what you measure. So if you're not measuring what messages you're sending out to prospects, how often you're sending out messages, how often you're talking to people, how many ads you're putting up each day, if you're not measuring yourself and your own marketing and sales efforts, you are unmanaged and you are undisciplined and you don't deserve to be a business owner frankly. You have to measure yourself. You have to manage yourself. The hardest thing as an entrepreneur is to manage and measure yourself because we're resistant to that. Measure yourself and constantly refine your marketing or your sales efforts. Measure your approach. Measure and refine your pitch. And also build your socials. The more presence you have on social media nowadays, the more powerful you are as a marketer and a salesperson. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, type in, you learned something new in the comments below. Also, if you thought I went a little too slow and I just kind of dragged on and told too many personal stories, type in too slow in the comments below. I love constructive criticism and frankly, I, I need it. If I went too fast, type in too fast or if it was just right, type in just right. My goal here is to serve you, provide the best educational experience for you. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and uh, also make sure to check out some of my other videos on marketing and how to get started. If you're interested in what I do, which is affiliate marketing, check it out. I have a video somewhere around here. It should be in a bubble right up here about how to get started in affiliate marketing. Looking forward to talking to you soon. I release videos every single day and love to see you as a subscriber on my channel. Have a good day.